You're watching the Cannabis Broadcasting Group here at CBGTV.com. I'm already into the 420, damn it. So what are you doing? Nothing. Nothing? Why not? I'm trying to get on this Lifestyle Radio website. Sounds like a cool website. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, wait, I might have it. You might have it. You're listening to Lifestyle Radio. The opinions expressed during this show are those of the individual participants and do not necessarily reflect the opinions of their associated organizations or Lifestyle Radio. You like music, you like weed, well, we're going to be good friends indeed. This is how much I like more than smoking trees. They'll make you dance the do-si-do and teach you how to achieve the grow. Smoke a bowl on the 420 Radio Show. On Lifestyle Radio. <laughs> I will change that, Len. Sorry. <laughs> I think you should leave it. It looks awesome. Really? Well, you see what I'm doing is I'm 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 learning how to use iMovie. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm rolling a doobie. You can take a it? screenshot up his nose and use that. Well, like I said the other day, it was either that one or Batman. 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 Oh, yeah, Batman. Batman. Hi everybody. Welcome to the four twenty radio show. What you smoking? I not I'm not smoking nothing now because I just ate a big bowl of fucking ice cream. Holy fuck. I'm, yeah, as, a, as I say, I got kind of a lung cold going on. I haven't smoked anything since last Friday. Oh, See? Sucks, See? Buddy. That's wrong. <coughs> I've been smoking twice as much just to clear your lungs out. Oh, <laughs> dude, I can barely inhale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still smoke it. Okay. I just ground up some. I've, I've got a respirator um, that you can put on like a mask. That is no, uh, good. fire it up and it blows the smoke right into India. What do you call that? That is uh, uh, some. That uh, is called marijuana. Uh, girl guy cookie. That is girl, a bud. Girl scout cookie. Girl scout cookie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Girl guides are in the U.S. Girl. Up here, we're girl scouts. <laughs> All right. What? Why? Why am the only one on camera? Well, because yeah. I'm on camera. Go. No, I just, I don't know. It got clicked on just me. I'm, ru I'm rude as fuck because I'm not looking at you, but I'm on so, camera. Uh, I want to welcome anybody who's <laughs> watching us tonight from their bedrooms in on Roku. Are you naked? What you wearing? Come on. Come on. What you wearing? I think that's rather personal and, and really for hey, some hey, people I don't no, want to Hey, know. they're the one that's invited <laughs> us into their bedroom. <laughs> How do you know if Darcy or, Darcy or Marcel could be naked right now? I've done, no, the I've, I've done the show in my underwear several times. Ask Debbie. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, can, I can honestly say I've never done this show naked. I have worn pajama pants. Yeah, it's usually pajama uh, pants or shorts. I got a sweater, but never naked. My, my, my sweater and my pajama pants on, but I don't got my camera on because my fucking phone eats up my battery that's, so quick. That's not to say that I haven't sat in front of the computer naked. I just don't do the show naked. Oh. Huh. Okay, that's probably way more info than we need to. Yeah, um, we didn't ask that question. Yeah, especially, <laughs> okay, especially so when I got a, camera, I got a funny story. Hacked so quick. A funny story, okay? So, uh -oh. I mean, uh, most people that know me personally know about my web history, we'll say, okay? I worked Alternate in the I, I worked in the adult market for for a while and I had a very large website in the 90s. But anyways, okay, so uh, last month I get an email from somebody that says 420 Radio, we have video capture of you masturbating in front of your computer, and we're going to share it if you don't give us this much money. Look up my history. Okay? Look up my history. I assure you, I assure you there's already video on the internet. Okay? I can assure you of this. Anyways, I thought... They would be public videos now. So, yeah. Well, you know, it's it's over 20 years. they got no copyright. <laughs> <laughs> but so so i was mentioning it to dean and he was I like would, I, would, I got I, one of those I too respond back. <laughs> i'd respond back and i say well, listen make sure you tag me because i need the hit yeah hey? <laughs> <laughs> but i just find it funny because those are the scams i mean i get i get text messages on my cell phone i i've got so my block list is fucking huge on my cell phone and my block list is getting even bigger on fucking, uh, uh, what do they call it, Facebook Messenger. So, 
you know, uh, you've seen the um, or heard about the scam that's going now targeting old people. Oh, yeah. My mom got hooked into it before she passed away. About about a year before she passed away, she got hooked into it. What, what's there's always a scam. What's well, somebody scam? try, you know, they they befriend. Well, they, they uh, you know, no, pr- pretend no, they like and one. then they, they ask for money. No, not this one. Oh, okay. This scam that's targeting seniors now is is a young person calls them and calls them grandma or grandpa and that they need bail money oh, fuck. to get out of jail. So, so I called my mother and I said, look, I said, if you get one of these calls that one of your grandchildren needs bail money, then your answer is just simple. Fuck them. <laughs> and my mother goes, what? Why would I do that? And I said, because if they got themselves in jail, then they, then they can get themselves out. Fuck them. And if anybody calls looking for bail money, your kids aren't going to call or your grandchildren are not going to be calling you for bail money. If you have She's grandkids that are in jail, let them rot. Yep. They can get themselves out. They got themselves in. They get themselves out. You know, exactly. you ever you ever watch? That's, that um, was the one rule that we grew up with as teenagers too. With my father, it's my father had a simple rule. If you don't you know the person, jail, you don't you go get with yourself them. out. What's get what? No, if you get yourself in jail, you can get yourself out. Yeah, yeah, yep. My mom got got hooked up into a few scammers. Uh, I I enjoy what Mark Rober Rober does to combat. Uh, scammers and, and porch thieves mark rober is the guy that does the glitter bombs oh yeah yeah there's another guy that uh, i forget his name there's a couple he of them goes that... after, this guy goes after the call centers yeah no that's mark rober as well he does that as well he's working with the fbi on several cases on on the um package theft uh as well oh, yeah. as call centers yep he gets all his hacker buddies out there. He used to work for NASA. He's a sci- he's a, a, an engineer. He hacks. He gets a phone call from a, a call center in India, mm-hmm. one of the scams call centers in yep. India, and he hacks their computers, yep. puts on their cameras, shows what they're doing, shows everything that they're actually doing, and then then tells them. Yep. And then the what? FBI raids them. Yeah. But. I mean, they can pinpoint the building, but if it's a big building, they don't know which floor it is, right? But they've so they, they, he's, they he's, their issues. he's been instrumental well, in, in helping uh, for about five years or so. Yeah. Yeah. Good on him. So what's up, Darcy? Nice to see you. Hi, Al. How are you? I'm all right. That's good. At least you're all right. I'm tired. I've been painting. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Did you tell me earlier that Dale here today? Yeah, Carly gave me a black eye and Dale gave me a bloody nose. Why? I don't know. You have to ask them that question. Well, I asked Dale if he was coming on, but he hasn't answered me yet. Are you serious? Well, I want to find out why. I mean, obviously he fucking deserved it, but. Obviously he fucking deserved it. Thanks, Marcel. Well, the both of them aren't going to hit you unless you deserve it, Darcy. Well, my wife said she was just getting me back for all the times I kick her at night. So <laughs> well, that's understandable. Oh, so she waited for Dale to, to stun you so she could hit you. Yep. He hit you with a stun gun. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, like Dale, no, Dale stopped over. To, the nose. Dale stopped over to visit there this afternoon, and when he stopped over. We we're having a chat, and all of a sudden, my nose started bleeding. And I figured I come to two conclusions: one, the air is really dry, so that's what I figured it was because I got it to stop. I don't know about five minutes. Oh, <laughs> so you know, I was standing in a line with my mom, and she had just taken a tumble down the stairs, three flights of stairs at Union Station. She was all black and blue in their face and her arms and that. And she looks up at me and smiles. She goes, "Alan, you really have to stop hitting me." I'm like, what the fuck, mom? <laughs> Your mom called you Alan? Yes. Yes. Well, that's what my name is. <laughs> I know. Alan? Yep. Alan. That's exactly the tone. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Alan. So my mom doesn't know. call me Leonard. She, uh, my mom didn't like, uh, she didn't like calling me Al at all. No, not at all. 
Hey, I'll tell you, you never know what parents will do to be embarrassing. My father, once, my mother was in Kmart looking in sales. My father came up behind her, grabbed her by the shoulder, and as he's walking out the door, dragging her, he said, we told you before we didn't want you back in this store. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we drug her out of the store. <laughs> I I uh, I've had a few fun things that I've done to my mom. I I uh, we both lived in the St. Clair and Young area, and uh, my sister and I were going to a movie at the big theaters that were there uh, many years ago. And uh, I saw my mom's car, so I went bloop bloop, and I put a note on her seat that said, "Thank you for letting me have a nap in your car." And then we left. Uh, a few hours later after the movie, she's not there anymore, but I get a roaring phone call while I'm on my way home from my mom asking me, what the hell did I think I was doing? Because I put on the other side, got ya, and her friend Gila read that while she was reading the note and her face was terrorized. She thought somebody actually had a nap in her car in the parking lot. <laughs> Did you share this yet? Oh, shit, no. No, I'm going to do it. Thank you. Oh. Uh, Where is it? But hi, everybody who said hi. Look, I even see we said hi. (laughs) That was me. We said howdy. Because I'm polite. Howdy. Well, whatever. It's still polite. Howdy. We're just freaking ignoring them. Well, I'm not, uh, you know, I, I am trying to uh, construct a conversation. <laughs> I don't ignore anyone. I just don't know how to see us. <laughs> I ignore a lot of people. So Lately, this happens more and more, and I don't like it, this ghosting shit and stuff. I, I think it's rude. It's ignorant. What is it? You know, somebody starts a conversation, and then they don't like what you've said, so they just stop talking. They don't say no. They don't say, I don't like that anymore. It's like they just stop talking, and it's it's rude. That's all. What's an octopod? I don't know. Octopod. Something with eight. Well, to me, it would be an eight-sided pod. Wouldn't it be like like eight autopods? <laughs> I know what an octo an octi bubbler is. Oh, jeez! Look, Darcy's here. Hi, Darcy. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm I'm good, thank you. Do you know when well, Do you know when you buy clones online, um, that they ship them with them little heated hand packs? I did. I didn't know that. I, but I gotta find a place that has good clones to 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 ship me. So. Well, there's lots on there's there's lots of them online. Okay, this is kind of neat. They have them at OCS as well. And you know what? I noticed that OCS is starting to have specials. You can get $100 ounces at OCS now, right from their website. I don't know how long it takes to ship with them, though. I know the place that I use is it's like four days, which is pretty good from BC, right? Hello? Oh, look at that. I'm talking to myself. Hello, hello. Um, No, I'm looking up uh, Octopods. Octopod hybrid grow systems, a soil and hydroponic hybrid. Next week, we're going to try uh, Instagram. Similar to a, an auto pot, but it's got soft soft pots. Soft pots. So they're, no, they're not the plastic like I got. No. They're the soft bags soft that I was around, using. Which means, they, which, which means they do air pruning. Explain the roots grow through that bag and die. Is that a good thing or bad? It's a good, good thing because, because it pushes out more roots. roots. Okay. That was in stereo. So. <laughs> <laughs> that thing. It that's, must be a good thing when you get it in stereo. Uh, that's how Zed, Le- Zed Leplin does it. <laughs> but, but they've got an autofill system. 
All right, so let me go through. I, you know what? I I open the box of mine while you're looking at stuff. I open the box of my auto pots, just one of them, to see what it's like. And I was just there was so much stuff in there. I got scared and closed it and put it put it away. <laughs> All right, so every time you guys say auto pots, I want to say roll out, roll out, oh, yeah, yeah. roll out. Auto okay, box. six gallon auto filling system, two sizes. Mar- Marcel's not hip enough to get I, I should go there. to the dollar store oh, yeah. and get some transformer stickers for each of my auto pots. <laughs> yeah, you could. That'd actually be cool. <laughs> oh, look at that. They're uh, not necessarily cheap. Six what is gallon, it? six gallons, four sites. Can you show? Can you two, bring it up and so we can see it? But might as well. Yeah. Here, I'm just going to give save, you the link. I'll let you do it. Save, <clears throat> save some people from just staring at us all night. Yeah. Uh, Who's winning, Lynn? Well, the fucking game doesn't turn for another fifteen minutes. Oh. <laughs> it's the face of come on, start already. Uh, search for the fucking channel, and then who starts the hockey game at seven fucking thirty? Uh, obviously not the Leafs. <laughs> no, it's uh, junior, uh, major junior OHL. Where where are you sending me that? Oh, you sent it to me on Facebook. Okay, I got to open Facebook, and I will get it from there. This is a shitty rolling job. And they have octodomes, Darcy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. it sounds like it's a a complete knockoff of auto pots, but... Oh, look at... Hey. Yeah, they're a knockoff of auto pots, and they're more expensive. Although... They're cool. Well, it, no, they've no, got some advantages. Yeah. They've got some advantages with the soft bag and the fact that they could use that for... Um, hydroponics by putting air stones in there with the with the option no is the option for the octodome this is what he's talking about the octodome no 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 i'm oh. i'm just going to the to the, this is the first page that i got here that you gave me mm-hmm. wait um there's the octo Octo grid. Down, that's the liner. All right. Octo yeah. pots. I clicked on the four plant one to see how much it actually was. Well, I'm just I'm gonna. It's one between one sixty nine and one ninety nine, one ninety one for a six gallon auto fill system. Two sites. Two pots. That's just two. That's pipe. two plants. That's just two yeah, pots. Two plants, four plants, and then six plants. But the yeah, one beside it is four It says pipes, here two, two six-gallon, uh, two hydro wick, uh, two six-gallon yeah. sleeves, uh, depth gauge, two one three-gallon control, rather that's the blue, um, and then your tubing and, and, and all that kind of stuff there in a shut-off valve. It would actually be good for keeping mothers in. Those are because soft bags like I got, nice eh? With... Those grow bags yeah. that I got, that's what those are, yeah. Yeah, so a set of two, then you could have two mothers, so two of the same mothers, like same strain. That way, because different strains take different feeds. Would something like this system be better for a uh, green room or or the auto pots? No real difference. Or a green, greenhouse, I mean. No real yeah, there'd, difference. No, there'd be no difference in that, Al. Okay. No. They might use a little more water in a greenhouse. Well, it's usually <laughs> Only pretty... because you'll have more evaporation because yeah, of the soft sides, right? Pretty moist in there. Yeah. With... I'm going to put uh, I'm gonna put rocks down uh, as soon as everything's thawed. I'm going to throw a couple of wheelbarrow loads of rocks in there. So I'm going to close. Yeah. Is there anything else on the website you want to want me to look at? 
No. All right. I just wanted to see what a, an octopot was. Well, now we know. Yeah, kill it. Kill it. Now we know what an octopot was. Although, you know, it's something hey. I would I would have considered uh, before I, I already got, right? You know. Yeah. Remember, remember when we talked last show about Ontario cutting their margin? Yes. OCS. There's been a whole cutting lot of margin. articles this week about that. Yeah, because that doesn't necessarily mean people are the consumers are going to get a lower price. No, it it means the uh, businesses are going to make more money. Right. Maybe. It's like <laughs> canopy canopy growth is keeping its prices the same. Well, as I mentioned earlier, I'll, I'll tell you right now, churro cannabis is too. Are you? Yeah. Well, I mean. What about yeah, I, it, what about Optimus? Honesty, Are you going to keep your prices low on Optimus? It. Yes, Optimus ain't dropping this price any lower either. Oh, well, you know, you got to do what you got to yeah, do. Yeah, but Lenny, Nova you don't Scotia's have not getting, Nova Scotia is not getting that break either that OCS is given. No, but Optimus doesn't need to lower their prices anymore because they're they're low enough. It's already not that right. high, yeah. Lenny's yeah, exactly. rolling but, but joint. Again, yeah. But again, yeah. everyone's like making a big deal. Like, there's cheap fucking weed at OCS. I know. That's what I was just going to say. I saw $100 uh, sales. Uh, there was there were several strains that they had up for $100. It, it just depends what you want, right? Yeah. Like, you, you get what you pay for in some aspects. Right. But you know, I'll, I'll also say there's some $50 weeds that aren't fucking near worth it. <laughs> well, you know what? I'll tell you what. Here, look. But you know what those are good for, Lenny? What's that? People people want to make their own extracts for edibles and things this like that. This was on sale. Hundred percent. There's there's all kinds of markets for everybody. Can you see that? Yep. This was on yep. sale this week or last week. Okay. For twenty four dollars. It's Jack Cush. It was on sale at BC Bud. And uh I don't it's it's very stringy, uh, but it's it fluffs up nice and it smokes nice and I like the buzz. It's exactly it's there, there's markets for everybody, right? Yep. I call it there's the like the trim job is about the same trim job all dog. you'll get out of mine. So <laughs> that's the same as wine, right? There's a there's exactly. a what's the fifteen dollar bottle of wine or a thousand dollar bottle of wine. <laughs> it just what are you as that particular consumer looking for? I have had weed that was from somebody's basement that was better. And usually is better than yeah. what you get at the legal store. It, what I'm finding at the legal store, although I found a few strains that I really like, uh, I'm finding that for the most part, unless they use one of the bags, uh, it's very dry. Hey, right. we're on the front page of NSLC again, eh? Who? Cure Cannabis. Are we? Yeah, we're, we're Discover Local. We're, we're, we're the headline company. Uh, cool. <laughs> yeah, I just was scroll. I was just scrolling down the NSC uh, NSLC Canvas web page there, and it's like, uh, yeah, okay. Lenny. Talks well, about I'm, re I'm, I'm reading this article here that says, "What happened to Smith Falls can happen to any entity in Canada." CEO of Toro Cannabis, Leonard Walters. Walter. Yeah. <laughs> wrong, 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 wrong title, wrong name. Who's that fucking guy? There are federal and provincial regulations that both need to be worked on. There are solutions. We just need folks talking. Hey, so that we also was have, your we also lobbying have a profile thing. on there. What's that? We also have a profile on there. We do? Yeah, it's <laughs> called Get No Throw Cannabis. Yeah, I, I've had a little bit of... I, I, I've had a little bit of dialogue with NSLC the last uh, several weeks, and uh, I, I guess it's their way of maybe... Making nice. <laughs> I, well, to be honest, is, NSLC's been really good to Toronto cannabis. I have nothing bad to say about them. Well, Al, it, it, yeah, it's pretty good. What was the picture you posted? Is the that what? like an apple pie? The what? An apple pie? Where? You posted a picture that you were going to eat you real good. Oh, it was an apple. It was a, a lemon turnover. Oh, they're so good. A lemon turnover. A lemon. It looks, like, lemon. It looks like an apple. No, it's lemon. Yeah. Did you ever share but, the show? Yes. Yeah, he did. I did. 
Um, but, I didn't tag anybody. But, but again, though. I'll but tag again, you like, in it. Like Marcel You'll said, like some of those it. cheaper weeds, people want to make concentrates out of it. Sorry, well, that, cannabis, that's the thing. You know, unfortunately, go on. Len. I'll, like, I'll, I'll say, no, finish. no, but like, unfortunately, we're in a weird kind of. Oh, the buds all have to be big and pretty and hand trimmed and that, and we're in this premium category. Like, there's certain things we can't even put in our jars because people yeah. want to shit on them, right? It's like, it's whatever. Well. There's just di- different products and different grades for different folks. That's all it is. So. That's that's right. And and um, <laughs> but there's lots of good, really cheap weed at the OCS and NSLC. And well, they have to be. They have yeah. to be competitive. Yeah. If they if they if they want the black market to fuck off, which it'll never do, they have to be more competitive. Sorry, it just that's the way it is. Well, the black not, market, well, the legacy the market the problem, is here though. to stay. Not, it will here, always here's be. Here's the problem, here. Al. Yeah. This is the part of that whole thing. Everyone's blaming OCS and everyone from competing with the black market. OCS and the LPs have basically almost 70%. The LPs only get about 30% of the money that 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 consumer's paying at, an, like at the OCS. I, I, right? I get that, yeah. So that's the part of Trudeau's mandate was to kill the black market. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. That was his mandate. Yes. It's not going to happen when the taxes are so high. Yeah. So have they rectified so, that? Oh no, that's that was that was basically my quote is nothing's gonna rectify because nobody fucking talks to each other is my whole point. <laughs> yeah. Um I'm trying to find the link. Here, here, here's a couple facts. Seventy percent of LPs are actually in default to CRA for excise tax. Yeah, I, yeah, well, I I've seen that. Uh, I've seen and, a lot of and things. And here's another interesting fact. Uh over the whatever credit bureau protection agencies for bankruptcy, over fifty percent of the new listings in the last two years are all LPs. So that's why I went to Ottawa um, because of the Smith Fall things, but because federal governments and provincial governments they're just not paying attention. Uh, you don't need people eight hundred people don't need to lose their job to make a statement. But yeah. when you're looking at simple data facts like that, something's wrong. It's, it's just the framework's broken, right? So they should take a step back, analyze things. Why are things so broken? Is 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 this what they're trying to do, or are they just making it look like it? Oh, OCS, God bless you, 3%. <laughs> like, it's really, the, the solution's quite easy. Um why why is the excise tax a buck a gram? Why isn't it like ten or fifteen percent based off the selling price? Like every other tax in this fucking country. They are getting charged a buck a gram. Yes. Every, so if I sell every a gram store, for 50 cents, I'm paying every every sell, dispensary store? Every LP, doesn't matter what I get for that gram, yes. The government makes a dollar a gram. So if I sold it for if I sell it to OCS for two bucks, you're only making a I buck. get a I only get a buck. And then, of course, OCS being a they got they got to mark it up, and then when the dispensary buys it, they got to mark it up. And then you so gotta, it's all the excessive tax. And then you got to also uh, throw in your uh, anything that that went wrong. You don't get anything from that. Oh yeah, bad crops, yeah. things like that. And thank you. I couldn't. I couldn't. My... I couldn't remember what it was called. <laughs> harvest or whatever, but oh, bad harvest. Uh, like here's my explanation. Truro's making let a little break even, not kicking ass. In perspective, we're actually quite good versus the rest of the field. Um, but here's the thing: what happens when my lights all have to get replaced in a couple of years? What happens when my HVACs have to get replaced in a couple of years? Yeah, you you won't have the capital, right? And then you're fucked. So that's what I'm trying to warn people: is then you have to bring in investors, maybe investors that you don't want to bring in. in the cannabis space right exactly. now, and nobody can make a nickel. That's why I say the exactly. framework's broken. Yeah, it's easy to fix. The simple fix number one: um, just turn it to a percentage. You can even make it twenty fucking percent. I'm still winning. Yeah. <laughs> the essential tax rate. Some firms, uh, with the gentleman was there, their essential tax rate is thirty eight percent. Now, no offense to him, you're going to sell your weed for 20 bucks. No wonder you can't make money, but whatever, that's their model. But 
thirty-eight percent tax rate is pretty fucking high. Uh, what's what's the taxes in the states? Do you know? Uh, every state's fucked because it's different. Yeah, but Cal- yeah. California just reduced it. Whatever the, we should look that up actually, because California basically is going through the same thing. Everybody was going under. And they had to do a big tax reform because they figured out. California market like, got flooded real quick, real early. It oh no, but the issue is they also put an insane amount of tax on it. Wow. Yeah. And fees, and then they found out nobody was making money, and then everyone was basically going back to the illegal market. So they dropped the taxes, and it's starting to level it out. There's a balance, is all there is. Um, there's, a, there's a place where everybody can make some money, and I wish that they'd fucking find that already. Because this is well, the, depressing the, the watching these, is... these good people. They started, you know, they've gone. A lot of these people are are coming out of the legacy market. They've gone into the new new legal market, and and look what's going on. Most, not maybe not most, but a lot of the LPs in Canada are staffed by people who came up out of the legal or the illegal market. Very much so. Yeah, there's some of the best growers in Canada are uh, yeah. out of the legacy market. I shouldn't say illegal market because I don't find it's illegal. I call it a legacy market, so that's what it is. Yeah, no, no. It, 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 it again, not it's not not a judgment. Just yeah. just the framework. They, it's the framework they set up. Um, and all my point was why I went there is, all right, you're into it three or four years. It's obviously not working. So why don't you guys start talking to each other and try to change the framework so it works for everybody? Here's a here's a question that I don't know the answer to. Maybe one of you guys is. Uh, I know I forgot it. It's gone. I'm sorry. Oh, it was about it was about the indigenous market. Yeah. Right. I mean, I voted. well, a lot of people still support that market, but and then there's a why lot not? of people that are trying to stop that market. You know. Uh, is it illegal? Well, is, is it legal? I'll, I'll give, is I'll give it you not? my personal take on it. Um, there is fast tracking for indigenous licensing. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, I do think Nova Scotia, for example, um, Nova Scotia should be giving our indigenous uh, First Nation um, reserves the right to sell cannabis on their own. But I do think it should come taxed and it should come from a legal source. Because my issue is, where are the indigenous populations getting the cannabis from? Well, I, I know that they're they're. Uh, I know some are good. I'm not. I'm not back doors from ones. the licensed producers that can't sell their overages. Uh, there's other sources <laughs> besides those too, Marcel. I know, I know, but no, it, I, we we and well, let's call it a spade a spade. There's organized difficult. crime. That's right. And, and, and here's my here's my only issue with it. And but there's a, there's also that that home grower. That has a There's of lots of home growers now, but here's the difference: home growers should be supplying home growers to true medical patients. Yep. Um, when you start having crazy two or three hundred plant licenses and stuff like that, yeah. And, and I actually don't even know how to do this. Here's how, like, the simplest solution for any of all this: there's a CTLS recording system. If you want to be a home grower that supplies other patients. Just make yep. them. It's it's an online fifteen minute process. Just report your sales every month, and then and guess but what? They, but then they would charge you taxes. Um, uh, they can even make it tax free. But what they can do, it's an audible process. I was like, whoa, you're really growing a thousand plants. Who are you selling it to? Yeah. Well, that's the that's, that's the, the that. Instant. But that that's a simple way to do it. That's the instant yeah. thinking, though, that happens. Right. Well, that's why I said nobody talks. That, that's an easy yeah. solution. That doesn't punish anyone. Anyone that's doing something shady will not report it. Anyone doing something legit, report it, no problem. Yeah. And again, I'm not saying tax it. I actually, again, that's the other thing. Take off the HST, take off the excise for medical. Yeah. You think that's ever going to happen, Len? Fuck no. <laughs> no, because... The government's actually losing money, so they don't mind. Well, we figured out they were losing five percent off of every every transaction. But it just it just shows some it, honest decency, though, to me. Just like why are you taxing something that's a medically prescribed service? Like fuck off. Exactly, and that's the the whole argument that we've had for years when they started with this crap is, 
why is no other pharmaceutical product in Canada taxed except cannabis? Or I won't say pharmaceutical product. I'll say prescribed product. Now, the only other thing prescribed, they will charge you tax on um, some like home health care items, things like that. But whatever, that's that's minority. But I'm just saying, yeah. if a patient and a prescriber are prescribing medical cannabis, you don't need to charge. Like, there's a couple hundred thousand people in Canada. Yeah. Just let it go, man. Like, it's, exactly. I just don't understand why there's enough money to be made in the cannabis space. Just yeah. let it go. Do you use insulin? No, uh, metformin. Oh, okay. All right, metformin. Do you, do you pay excise tax on that? Uh, I pay, I'm on ODSP, so no. I, I pay There's no, uh, there's no, there is no HST or two, tax on $2 it. Dollar dispensing fee, yeah, that's but all. That's, but that's the whole point. Is That's your copay, but that's not tax to yeah. the government. Okay. Right. But that's the whole point. They're not patients that, that have prescriptions for products other than cannabis are not subjected to an excise tax as well as an HST or or PST or GST, whatever the fuck you have in your province. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right? It's only cannabis and it's and it's it it seems more like as a punishment than anything. That oh, you don't want to use these medications that have been proven not to work. So we're going to punish you by charging you extra by taxing your medicine. Punishing. And, and, and again, just just take the HST off. Like if you want, even if you leave your stupid ex, like just throw a bone, <laughs> do something. Yeah. Well, um, what, what 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 I'm wondering, I'm just wondering and waiting if they're going to start charging us a tax for growing. No. Yeah. Well, I bet they'd try and figure out how. Well, they would. They would if, if we used Lenny's reporting system. Oh, you grew, you grew twenty-seven pounds this year. All right, we'll have to uh, hit you with do, this. Do they tax. tax you when you grow when you when you uh, uh, grow your own vegetables and stuff like that? Do they tax you when you make your no. own beer? Uh, and, yeah. and am I am I, <laughs> well, am I for point? personal use? No. But if you're making beer and selling beer, then yeah, you, you're paying taxes on beer. Well, yes. Of no, but what they're what they're reporting is, Marcel, paying. it's not about tax. It's about just showing, okay, I grown X yeah. amount of things and I sold X amount to X number of people. X amount of bodies. Yeah. And what it does, it gives them it gives them the opportunity. What are the outliers? Um, yeah. And if someone's an outlier, then you can actually send an inspector to your house. And it's like, you know what? These are all legit. Thank you very much. See you later. Yeah. I believe in California. But, 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 we, you, but we know we know the ACMPRs that are growing illegally, and that's what causes the bullshit, right? I, I believe in California, if you are growing, whether it's not it's medical for yourself or for a business or whatever, you have they, they require you to ban every plant. And it has a tracking number and, and everything. That, that's now, overkill. No, hold on. Do yeah. you, you don't have to do that at, at Truro? You don't have to oh, account we all, for... Oh, we have to report every fucking plant, every fucking... So each plant has fucking... a serial number, basically? No, no, but we have a monthly count. The serial number's overkill. Okay. We did have barcodes but... for the plant, so at one point... Oh, that that that's just internal, though. That wasn't for reporting. Yeah. But we actually, every month, we have to say how many seeds we got... How many plants we have? How much we destroyed? How many grams? How much? Like it's basically it's we have one or two people. That's their fucking job per month, right? My cat picked this exact time to have yeah. a shit behind me. Um, yeah, and then Sorry. there's audits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, uh, the audits! The audits are crazy. So they they come in. Uh, they they send somebody in to audit, or do they have you have you audit? Well, no, there there CRA audits. Then there's health care inspections. Wow. Uh, then if you have so many shareholders or these public companies and you have to have these fucking audits from like KPMGs and these bullshit, all, all Turo goes through is inspection and audits every fucking two weeks, I swear to fuck. Wow. It's stupid. Ouch. Over, over, overkill is all it is. See, but yet... That, that it is, Lenny. Oh, Oh yeah, but out like I again, alcohol and tobacco, let her rip. 
nobody gives a fuck. They just get to do what the fuck they want. Yeah, I don't that's what that. takes me off. That's that's kind of ridiculous. I mean, uh, alcohol kills people. I don't know anybody who's died from cannabis other than getting squished by a tree. <laughs> well, it's it's more the hypocrisy to it, right? It's just yeah, yeah. It, it's taxed more than tobacco and alcohol. It's regulated worse than both. Um, it's See, just overkill. Thank just you. overkill. Stupid cat. Uh, yeah, it, it is. And, and, and again, to be honest, Canada needs the fucking taxes. Like, I don't want to take taxes away from cannabis. But the, the short-sighted thinking is, if all the LPs fucking go away and everyone goes back to the black market, it's less taxes for our economy and the jobs. Like, you got to make it sustainable. Holy fuck. How, okay, so do we know how many uh, LPs are have have fallen off the the scale lately i mean i know there's been um, a lot well just miss tweed just did whatever 800 i think sundial just uh did 100 or 200 last week or the week before um there's a bunch there's been closures a lot like xenobis went away um now fyi i i do know some I'm not, it's not to shit on the public guys but some of them wasted a whole shit ton of money um, stupidly, it is a but, new. In, in their defense, though, it is a new market that people are still trying to figure out. Oh no! They're, no listen, it's a new if market. I, if I had, listen, if I had five billion dollars, of... if I had five billion dollars in my account, I'm probably pretty sure we would have had some fucking parties. <laughs> yeah, but this is what I mean. It it was a brand new emerging market that the bankers took over or not the bankers, but the money men investors, people that had no background at all in cannabis, just in money were the ones that took over and they had no idea what they're doing. And now they find themselves in the situation they're in. And I say, good on them because they should have fucking listened to the people who knew what the fuck they were doing. But but also the the framework designed by health Canada and the CRA was wrong. It's not the correct framework, right? Totally um, wrong. The whole like the they, whole they, cannabis they, act is wrong. Yeah. Oh well, there, there's legislation, but even just the taxing and the billing, it's all it's just incorrect. Yeah. Well, so, even you know what we we uh, are in the process of of registering and inking and all that with CBG TV, right? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, so Al Graham, who is one of the founders, uh, and my sister are working on because uh, she's our bar- bookkeeper trying to figure out what bank we can use so we went to, we went to bmo <laughs> because we had heard that bmo was usually pretty tolerant and they said no and that came uh, I, I they said that came down from the head office too no and here's the thing though cbg tv the cannabis broadcasting group okay is a group of broadcasters not cannabis pr- producers yeah, but you got the C word in there. Exactly, and that's what they said. It was the C word. So uh, asking our, our, our buddy uh, Jack Lloyd, who will be on the show in the next couple of weeks, where does a, a, a cannabis business go for banking service? So he sent us to Alterna Savings, and uh, we're going to look up them and, and, and try and, and see what they have to say. That's our next. No, I, I, I've never heard of that group. I'll, I'll be straight up. I use Credit Union for Optimus. Well, I'm going to send you the link yeah. because this is the this is the place that. Uh, um, yeah, but what it'll be interesting what the rates are because usually they're when high. People are doing that. They they're are fucking high. You. Yeah, yeah, they're high. Yeah. Um, and what BMO? The reason BMO came down is I think they were ones when we're doing a lot of LPs, but because so many LPs are fucking hurting for money and going to fault their head office is like get into the cannabis space we're gonna lose money and get burned so that you're you're getting fucked out of that one that's why they jumped in yeah well you know because they because they were bmo was <laughs> well bmo does have cannabis accounts i'll be honest true cannabis with bmo um but because so many lps aren't paying bills and and getting in trouble yeah they're going to sure they're they're they balking, but we're not even in the business itself. Oh, no. But again, they're not <laughs> you know? smart enough to distinguish it. They, if you just have the C word, they've just they've just started forcing uh, banks 
to work with cannabis businesses in the states. I don't, you know, it depends on which. Which is weird. State you know what the excuse in. of Canada is? Because they do business in the U.S. and it's federally illegal. Yeah. They can get in trouble. That's the excuse they'll use in Canada. Yeah. So. <coughs> You're annoying, but Pat, it, and you stink. But, but also in Canada right now, too, <laughs> Al, is uh, it, it's legit. There's a lot of cannabis LPs and companies in major trouble. I know. I know. So as a bank, it's a huge risk to go into it. So, but the problem is it's a huge risk for them to hold money that we make. Yeah. I don't get that. Well, it's just to them, they just cut it right off. Yeah. It's a very stupid of way course to it do is. business it is. by the bank. And it has to change. Like, it has to. I Listen, I, I was having trouble with Optimus just opening a bank account because I, did, I didn't get a loan. I spent That's all, all we're trying to do. We're trying to open. We, we have no yeah. problems incorporating at all. None. Yeah. Paperwork's right, right you there. Just, you just have to fill it out. But then when and, and but a bank won't even talk to you until you've had a have a registered business. Yeah. And then if it has that C word in it, like we we tried to pass it off as the yeah. can, the co op broadcasting group, but then we found out we can't use the word co op when registering a co op. <laughs> so <laughs> Yeah. There's some interesting weird rules in this business oh, it's, world, man. It's, you know, I, I, I've never had to. I've never had to go through this. But this is my sister's business. I mean, she's been a bookkeeper for years and years and years, and now she's finding things that she's like, "Wow," <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, so, Scotia Bank. My pharmacy was Scotia Bank over twelve years. They just said, oh, "I can't do your cannabis business." Well, you know what? I told, I'm a good. Cli- I'm a good client to them, right? They, I told my sister the other ahead. day. Nope. I told my sister the other day is, you know, once you've figured out how to do this, register a business, set up a, a bank account for a cannabis business, people will hire you to do that. Because not many people are, are there, you know, I mean, it's all public information out there, but it's fucking, it's like getting on fucking Roku. That's why they charge you two, three, four thousand dollars to do it. You know, it's not easy. Trust no, me, they make I've it just hard. done it. <laughs> it's not easy. There's a lot of scripting and fuck involved. But uh, anyways, uh, speaking of Roku, hi, Roku people. Again. Ro- is it Roku or Rocky? Roku. Roku. I like Roku. Rocky better. Rocky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't have a Roku, Lenny? No, I got a... Smart TV. Some smart TVs. I got a, what, a fire stick. Sorry, Roku. No, no offense. I just well, if don't you've have got a one. fire stick, you'll have Roku on there. Is, I thought is Roku a device or an app? I, it's an app. I, I'm it's not really good at Roku is different. Roku is a device and an app. Yeah, I and, remember seeing it on like Best Buy or something. Okay, it's right? a complete because broadcasting have, system. It's their own. It's, right. it's, so a, what, it's a TV network, is what it is. Right. They have their own network or their own channel the roku channel which is movies shows things like that and a lot a lot of the big u.s networks and canadian networks are actually putting their feeds onto roku because it's so easy to access right so roku has you just click to add apps yep and you can go in and select literally thousands of apps let's have an example do a search for cbg tv and cbg tv will be there yep so I have and a Samsung Smart it. TV. Would there be a Roku app on there? Yep, there could be. Should well, be. there there could be a CBG TV on there. Yep, could be. Okay. Yep. But I do have a was a Chrome Fire Stick or whatever the fuck. Yeah, it's I do as well. That, yeah. that uh, it's, it's or Amazon Fire Amazon, Stick. Yeah, I, guess. Like, Chrome, I guess there's the Chromecast. Chromecast is Chromecast. Yeah, yeah, Chrome yeah, is Chromecast. All right. And then Chromecast actually turns your TV into a smart TV. Anything from your computer. Or your laptop, or or your. Well, that's why I got a Fire on. Stick. I had an yeah. old. Um, I wouldn't say old. It's not a smart TV, and I just wanted Netflix on it. Yeah, it, it, on 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 smart TVs Although I might these be days, Netflix, you got so Roku, sure. Sure. Fire <laughs> Stick, all of those Apple. We got TV. rid of that. We got rid of Netflix. Did you dump it? Did you? Yeah. Yeah, I'm about yeah. to. As soon as they stop sharing passwords, we dumped them. 
Not that I share my well, I don't share my password with anybody, but I don't agree with that. I think that if you live in the same household, and that's that's from what I read, if you live in the same household, you should be able to sit, share within the same household. You know, but you they don't even the same they nope they don't even allow you to do that. I cannot load up uh, something on on two different computers or on two different devices in the house. Yeah, you can, but you got to pay extra. Yeah, I'm not doing it to add that other one. Darcy, you're clicking. Just as soon as Darcy always. Well, Darcy ain't. Well, Darcy, if a Darcy is clicking, Darcy can't hear it because Darcy's phone's plugged in, so I don't lose you guys. But that's why I had you on mute. Well, now so, I don't yeah, hear it. No. Oh, now I, I hear, hear it. Okay. All right, just hang on. We'll see who so, it is. Make it so, so that whoever's I'll, talking goes big. So when my. Uh, so I have a daughter in St. of X universities. So I have, I guess, whatever the premium Netflix is. Was it? 20? I don't even know what I pay. I pay nine ninety nine, yeah. I think for one person and I have All SD right. streaming or something like that. So if, uh, if she goes back to college this week and can't get Netflix and canceling it, but if she can watch Netflix, I'll keep it. Well, you know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be, able be honest. To watch Netflix. I am thoroughly That's what I'm going on the impression with. I am thoroughly enjoying uh, Amazon Prime TV. Well, she has Prime. Well, listen, I, I, Prime I enjoy Disney, Prime. Prime. Prime and Disney are going to fucking make some money because everyone's going to. They've just Netflix. added. Uh, so is Paramount because Paramount is coming out. They've got a lower price. Um, awesome selection. That new because one, know, that new uh, one you told me about. I would love to be at the. I'd love to be at the meeting of that Netflix guys and <laughs> CEOs and like who came up with this fucking theory or idea. Especially when their their advertisement used to be that sharing was caring. And yeah, no, no, like and, your passwords. Now it's yeah. Now we're going to charge it because you shared your passwords. Well, what you can say you is like, listen. The simplest too. thing is you're allowed to have X amount of things on with one account like i would make it four doesn't matter where you're at you're allowed four yeah it used to be um, however many you ones. wanted it they did hadn't, what, hadn't what no i'm waiting for it. is is to see how <coughs> it ends up for them in the end if this oh they're gonna they're gonna lose uh, that's is what i'm saying they ain't gonna win yeah i mean i a lot of people i know have dumped them right away so yeah no, no, they're going to lose. Like, as I say, I'm like, who in the fuck came up with this strategy? Like, there's no way to win. Yeah. No, for nobody. Like, I mean, it just makes yeah. you not want to use the service. There are, a, you see, if it was just Netflix, I could see them. It's like like pharmacies. The pharmacy here charges a dispensing fee because there's no other competition. Right? Uh, but if there was Do another... I? If there was another pharmacy, all pharmacies charge a dispensing fee. No, 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 no. In not in Ontario, anyway. No, I'm no. Ex- listen what? to what I'm. Stop talking and let me finish. The pharmacy that I went to in Toronto. Yes, you want to call it copay? You can call it copay, but call it copay. Uh, they call it a fee. Okay, they stopped charging because another pharmacy opened up down the road. Here in Terrace Bay, there's only one pharmacy within 50 kilometers, right? So they can charge whatever they want. So they charge a, a copay fee where some, yeah. if there was another pharmacy in town, they probably wouldn't. Is all I'm getting at, right? Maybe, unless the other one also decided to charge the the dispensing fee well the smart thing w- that would happen here anyways like in the city is one usually box down and, and gets rid of the dispensing fee that's always been my experience like if you if you've got three shoppers drug marks in a row they're not going to charge you a dispensing fee because you're just going to go to pharma plus you know what i mean <laughs> do you guys charge no, a dispensing fee len what what every every pharmacy there's a dispensing fee. What you're talking about is a copay. Okay. So some people like Walmart and Costco waive the copay because they actually don't give a fuck if they make money in the pharmacy. They're making money and you buy and bullshit yeah. off their shelves. Everything else, yeah. 
So for most pharmacies to stay open, basically they got to charge, I'll just pick a round number, 10 bucks of prescriptions, what they're charging. Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah. they live off. And you're, what, what are you, what's it called in Ontario? Oh, something, health care, something like that. ODSP. So, yeah, or, yeah, ODSP. Whatever it's, it's called. It's under ODSP, yeah. Or, yeah, whatever it's called. Or, or you talk about OHIP. OHIP, OHIP whatever is it is. Ontario or Hospital Blue Cross. Insurance. Say, Blue Cross will pay up to six bucks. I'm just picking another round number. Yeah. So uh, the pharmacy either has the choice of, do they throw $4 out the window Yes. Or charge to the consumer. Well, or the you patient. Know, pharm- and, 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 some, and some places do and some don't. So pharmacies, we, are, pharmacies now are yeah. the new uh, 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 restaurants. Like, like Kmart used to have the restaurant right in the store, but it was at the back of the store to get you through, to walk through the whole store. Now they have yeah. McDonald's at the front. Oh, yeah. They don't do that, but they used to. They used to want you to walk through the whole store. Uh, I remember. Oh, eat- oh, shoppers still do. Do they? Okay. Oh, if you go to a shoppers. Shoppers. Where, where shoppers do you think, well, I don't go into go a to? shoppers. There's no shoppers what's within a hundred kilometers anyone, around anyone here. Who's been to a shoppers? What's the first section you walk through? Food. No, no uh, cosmetics. Make, oh. Cosmetics. Right on. The yeah. highest margin yeah. fucking shit in the place. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, um. Pharmacy Every shoppers does it not necessarily all to targeting to the uh, uh, cosmetics at pharmacies, but shoppers does it. London Drugs does it. Yeah, uh, Lawton's does it. Yeah, they all you all go uh, through. Zhuang Tutu does it. When so I, I mean, all of the big they're trying stores. to get you to buy. The only ones that go to it. America. Lenny's store doesn't do it. When I worked well, at I Eaton's Yorkdale. When you walk in the Lenny's store, all you can get is drugs. When I worked yeah. at Eaton's Yorkdale, okay, um, I was in charge of the cosmetics department and the children's wear department, all the stock, right? Yeah. And it was by far the busiest departments in the store because the minute you walk in, it's all cosmetics, a whole fucking floor of it. Yeah, you know, and then uh, and then women's wear, and then children's wear, and then blah blah blah, and and that's where the funnel is, right? Yeah, but, no, no, but, but, uh, but they the big got, chain box stores still do that. Right? They want they yeah. want you to keep they want to keep you in the store, so the restaurants down in the basement, on the basement level, so that well, they want Look you, and Walmart. then and then down there in the basement level, you've got your restaurant. And then you've got your games, and then you've got your your munchies, and then you've got your groceries, and it was always yeah. like that, you know. Uh, uh, we also have Ed's pharmacies. warehouse was great In for funneling our people. Grocery stores, Al. What's that? Our 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 Sobeys and our super stores also have pharmacies. Yeah, now they do. Yeah, they're always usually located in the store, and they're the, the ones Walmart that, that drive you are in. Never located near the right, but Walmart. Um, Pharmacies are never located near a door. Nope, they're always they're in the, the center back. or at the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. or beside um, McDonald's. It, <laughs> it's 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 smart because they're not making a killing or, or well, like in they're the not making any Walmart, money off the pharmaceuticals. They they but not be making much of anything. That's no. what's bringing well, they're, you they're, into they're, the they're store. A little money, but but, but that's what's bringing you into the store. store, and you have to go through all of their other departments to get there. That's right. Yeah. Right. Like that that's what they used to do at Eaton's. At the old yep. Eaton's store on Young Street, I'm talking about. Right? They wanted you to go all the way up to the top floor and work your way down and then then, you know, they they know that there's a lot of back then, we're talking the sixties and seventies, there's a lot of moms with their kids, they're traveling. So let's put the games and the, the toy area in the center beside the restaurant oh, sure. so mom and dad can go have a coffee while the kids are running around in the games area. That's what we used even to do. My, even my store in the mall, I did the same thing. Christmas and, was a whole goddamn floor. <laughs> but in my yeah, but in my store, what I did is my service counter was at the back of the store, so you had to go through the store. And people, when they walk in a door, for the most part, turn right. So you basically you tunnel people to where you want them to go. So as soon as they come in, they 
they basically they turn right, so they're basically going down through the store, and that's why and seeing everything. That's why if you look turn at a, left, look at a Walmart, you're going to go through a, a faster. Where or Kent, how they get you to the cash? It's almost like a fucking aisle yep. versus shit to pick off the shelf now. Yep, like it's yeah. a corral. Yep, dollar store is a really good example yeah. of that one. The Walmart the same way. Yeah, they all are. Yeah, Walmart's doing the same thing. Uh, Walmart's Tunnel in the process through, of removing all of their uh, uh, customer service people and stuff. It's all going to be uh, auto checkout, well, right? And, the, and I find that I find that that lot. takes longer. You know, uh, yeah, especially for the people that don't know how to do it. Or the Walmart it. in in Thunder Bay. Well, there's a few of them, but the one that I've been to, the bigger one, is they have. No customer service people except for one lady that's monitoring 30 machines. And she can't keep up. Yet you look over, you look down, you look over, you look over down the way, but 150 feet maybe down the way, and there's a whole other block of machines and they're closed because the one lady can't take care of 80 machines. She can't even do 30 or 40. It's crazy. So it's... they have a hard time getting people to work or what? Exactly. <coughs> yeah. No, no, right now what it is is they know people are stealing the odd thing, but by the time they pay all the staff and all that shit, they still come on ahead. Walmart's the analytics, a... yeah, the analytics those fuckers have is unreal. Yeah, Walmart's got a very poor uh, loss prevention program. We, we just got a refund done from the math Best Buy. Of how much it costs. Yes, they sell so much. They, shit. Don't, they care. don't care. We just right. got. Uh, it's a matter of how much it costs, how much they're losing, versus how much they're actually making. I bought some yeah. some uh, ink cartridges for my uh, my printer before I moved, yeah. and it, nev- it, it never showed up. It never showed up, and my sister just told no from Best Buy. Uh, mail order. Oh, yeah. And my sister uh, just told me today that she finally got a refund for that. Oh, really? Yep. And I'm still waiting for my uh, kitty litter box from China. Although the Canada Post is involved now. So. What do you mean kitty litter box? I ordered an electric kitty litter box. It, it cleans it and oh, puts okay. it into a little pouch and then you take the bag and throw it away. And um, okay. well, because I've got I've, I've got to be really careful with Stephen because of his urinary issues, right? So, I ordered right. that before Christmas. It's been delivered twice, both once going to uh, Newfoundland and once going the last one going to Quebec. I walked into the post office the other day. They asked me about it. They said that they called and they wanted to ask some questions and stuff, so I answered their questions. Still haven't got it, but every time I email the company, it's being expedited. Please have some patience, sir. That's what I get. <laughs> right? That's probably the only English he knows. Probably, yeah. It's all scripted, right? So, so, so what hope- happens when you get this thing and the cat's scared to death of it? <laughs> <laughs> because that has happened to people with those things. Oh, I'm, I'm sure. The cat gets yeah, yeah. so scared of this thing working that it never goes near the damn thing. Well, we'll find out. It'll be gifted if it if he doesn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it. let's hope your cat can use it. I hope he can too, because um, you know it's supposed to be very. Uh, I was going to get the pretty litter as well, because I have to. I, gonna, like, I mean, I his litter, his fucking food is a hundred bucks a fucking month. For God's sakes, I've been, I've been, um, yeah. If you want to, want to try feeding a horse, um, or in my case, the dog. Uh, Roses is only like I've, I've heard 40. some mixed reviews about the pretty litter. Yeah, me too. Um, and I don't know if, if, if I don't know, I don't know if. I believe them or not. He just doesn't know. Doesn't I just don't know. I don't know either. Um, I don't have a cat anymore, so I'm not worried about it. I won't have a cat again. Well, you know, I uh, said I'd never say never because I said I would never have a cat again. And hello, Stephen, how are you? Oh, no, no, no. I, I can say never say never. This cat was after, here when I got here. After Stephen goes, there will not be any other cats in my house. No. 
I love Steven. He's an awesome cat, but I just, uh, I, he howls all night long because he's bored. And if you don't feed him when he wants food, you're in trouble. When I moved here, there was two cats. They were here that were sisters and they looked almost identical and I couldn't tell them apart. So to me, they were just fucking cats. The sisters were identical or the cats? The cat. Well, no, the, the cats, the, the, yeah, sorry. (laughs) When I got here, there was two cats that were identical. They were sisters. (laughs) Okay. Let's put it that way. Uh, eventually one of them died or they didn't die because there was coyote tracks in the yard. So we kind of know that it was probably taken. Um, so we had one. Then for some reason they showed up with another one that they thought would be a great indoor cat, except it was a burn cat and didn't really like being indoors wow. until it ate the tops off all of my plants. Oh boy. Then it became an outdoor cat. So he would come in and eat and then go back outside. And he kind of loved it, but then never came back. Stephen has has discovered that he can open the the basement door and go downstairs because it's not latching correctly. i got to fix that. But so he goes goes downstairs and he rummages. (laughs) The other cat used to go in and out. Like, yes, no, Stephen doesn't. He wants go to go outside, outside, but he doesn't go outside. He stays in. Oh, no. The, ours, we kind of had to because he'd drive us nuts if you didn't. Or, or she. And, uh, and I mean, she was a great cat, but she was going out. Yeah, you say that constantly. Now. The other cat was going <laughs> nuts. You say that now. No, no. I mean, <laughs> as far as cats go, I've never been a, a cat person, right? So. For me, as far as cats go, it, it used to talk to me. It, it loved me because it was always on me and and uh, getting scratched and stuff like that. I was never mean to the cat. I'm not mean to any animal, but just people. <clears throat> just, well, yeah, I don't like people. <laughs> You've heard that saying that the, the more people I meet, the more I like my dog. Yeah, well, I really I like that. my dog. Yeah, I love my dogs. Yeah. yeah. Um, animals, for the most part, are innocent. Yeah, I don't know. And, and, and it is their actions, except for cats. Cats are just evil. Well, right? Steve, cats some, will do sometimes. things just out of spite. Sometimes, yeah, he he does it just he'll oh, stare. No. He stares at me, and he's like, "I'm like, Stephen, stop that!" And he's like, "I said stop," and he gets louder. <laughs> Yeah, because they're evil. They're annoying. And they, they'll they also, if you are at home alone and you die, they're pretty much going to eat your eyeballs. So that's always a pleasant thought. There you go. Have fun, have fun, have fun with <laughs> that, Stephen. I also read a book years ago, but I read a book years ago, and I mean, even then I was never a fan of cats. There's a reason why we have a disclaimer, never... and that's it right there. <laughs> Right. But the book, the book is called Feral, and it's about feral cats. Years later, after reading that book, I worked for animal control, and part of my job was to go to some areas like Obaca Spry Field and collect feral cats. I am not a fan of cats, and I will never be a fan of cats. Only because of that book and actually seeing how feral cats. Well, that's can like eat. clowns. I, it did it for me. That's it. Clowns? No, clowns don't bother me. Nope. I, I'd go out and hug a clown. I know people who would attack somebody if they came in as a clown, just instantly. And I don't. Ah! Yeah, but I don't. I don't hug a lot of people. But I'd go out and hug a clown <laughs> just to piss people off. <laughs> no, just to, just to scare the shit out of the clown. <laughs> <laughs> wow, there's a lot of coughing and smoking going on. Hey, hey, clouds hey. of smoke. Hey, you can buy an ounce of tweeds 
Cushman's right now and support all the workers for $129. Well, let's get on it right now. Let me get my credit card. Is that going to keep them there? No. Yeah. <laughs> because they're still losing their jobs. Yeah, true enough. All right. Do we need uh, to pee yet? That, that just That's just money that, that Tweed gets to keep. Where's that address? The OCS or NSLC? NSLC. I was just looking at the price of their ounces. You told me to put Len on on full, and then he shuts his camera off. We've been watching Lenny's little thing. I'll be honest, I'm lying down on my bed. My back was hurting. Do now, I didn't say put him on full. You did. No, I said put it on so that whoever's talking was making that clicking noise would be up front and center. Uh, well, that was this guy right here. That's what I thought because after he <laughs> muted his mic, he stopped. Yeah. Well, it's not, it's so not it, clicking now, is it, Marcel? Not at so all. Here's so the pr- here's the problem. Doing, Darcy? So, Darcy, here's the problem. That $129 ounce. This is why I said the government provinces and, and everyone's going to talk. How much do you think Tweed's taking home per gram? Uh, well, considering they're only paying $4.64, you're only paying $4.64, so you, you yeah. do the math. Yeah, I know. No, I know the. They're getting like, that's like a pocket grand. They're losing money. Yes, and that's the problem. Um, and not because I'll tell you, black it's cost, they have it's cost them a hell of a lot more than a pocket grand to grow it. I was just going to ask it's, you, uh, Len. What? Okay, uh, on the average, what does it cost Truro to grow one ounce? Do you know those I, I'm kind just of gonna, stats? Uh, I won't give the exact number. Of but course not. It, no, but it's just assume like good indoor weed. Just assume it could range from anywhere from a low end buck seventy five to a high end two and a quarter. How about that? Because because what I'm maybe, seeing maybe, maybe two thirty. What I'm whatever. seeing when I look at on OCS and and other legal sites. Okay, like yeah. the, the store here in town, I look there. It tells you the yeah. gram, how much per gram now. And it's usually before below, I'm finding for the strains that I'm getting anyways, below $3. Uh, sorry, $4. Yes. Like 340 yeah. something like that. That's the normal around there. But now I but but then if you go into the lower THC levels, uh, here's my point. The lower the THC, the lower price you're going to pay per gram at the legal stores anyways. Yeah. But yet, I'm finding the lower uh, amounts of THC strains are working for me better than the high THC strains that couch couch lock me. Listen, you buy what's the best value for you, and that's my point. Yeah, like right. I don't, also, I don't mind the hundred dollar ounce. I don't mind the the, the twenty five dollar ounce when they come along. You know, it's but something different. But the lower different. THC strain has all the other cannabinoids that you're getting. Hello, That's probably why and you'll this like is it. what I tell people all the time. I, you know, I'm I'm trying to educate some of the uh, the, the kids up here, right? My friends' kids, right? Yeah. Who who just you know, hey, I'll smoke that. <laughs> oh, I'm really stoned, man. But yet they complain they've got pain issues, or they they you know it's 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 getting their brain going too much. And so I'm trying to explain to them that you need to try different strains. It's not just about it. Now in 2023, it's not just about what your buddy down the road has. Okay, there's lots of options. Is my point. But you got to look at the and strains. If, if you need it for something for a medical purpose, then you've got to look at different strains exactly. and use a strain that works for you, exactly. or not necessarily the strain, but also the method. Medicate yourself. Get fine. Get fine totally on just topicals. Some people like ingestion. Some people like smoking. I like it I all. I weed myself basically off taste. But yeah, um, I, I and buzz. Obviously, you gotta like how it feels, but for the most part, like I, it's the it's the taste. Like, White Widow, I won't touch it. Taste or nothing. I know what it does to well, me. I like churro cannabis, churro G. I don't like the gassiness of it. Don't like it. Uh, there's I'm not that that big on diesel. D- Darcy d- does some some wedding of the mint? the diesel smelling strains. I'm not yeah. big on. Yeah. Yeah, me neither. But wedding mints like that that vanilla creamy sweetness to it. Fucking love it. Um. 
See, I find wedding mint makes everything in my mouth taste like metal. But that's just so very, that's strings what I'm like that like, as well, Darcy. But I so like it. Buy it's what very you, good you buy what you like. It, well, it, 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 it relaxes me. I, I like the strain. I just find it, it it makes my mouth gives me a metal taste in my mouth. That's I should me. I should go over and get some some uh, mac and cheese next week for this. Now show. mac and cheese, it's a, it's not a bad taste, but um. What I like about it is the high. It's like it lasts a long time, but it doesn't rip my head off. Well, I'm going to go, nope. I'll I just go like, over and get I some like next it. week. Try it. But but if you ask me taste, I like wedding mint the most. Like, so it's um, actually right now my favorite taste is citrus scum. Actually, Lenny, so. I got to say, I got to say the, the best one that I like so far that came up that, 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 that we grew was Call Me Crazy as our, as the pancakes that you have on I, I haven't tried it yet actually I heard it's good I really like it man I don't know what it is with that pancakes and that batch of secret that you got on your menu at Optimus yeah. too that batch yeah. is amazing yeah hey Lenny oh, I guess hidden pastry that's what it is yeah the hidden yeah. pastry you, you which might is like a pheno of secret Darcy what's that which is a pheno of secret is what hidden pastry is. It's another pheno. Yeah, I knew. I know. I just yeah. I just wanted to call. Oh it yeah, no, no. But I'm just telling people straight up, like it's just a different pheno of it. Yeah. But it, it it's really nice. I really like that one. I really want. To, I I really want to try the uh, the uh, monkey business, but there's only three point fives left. I was going to grab an ounce, but I noticed they were all gone. Yeah, I'm trying to get more of that one. I notice. I, I notice. I, I I pay close attention to your menu, so I I kind of find what strains people kind of buy up mostly. And what yeah, was the strain that you said you like, Lenny? Um, what, uh, the re- wedding man. What Uh-oh. I got a, um, oh citrus skunk. Yes, that is a nice one, Lenny. I'm growing critical orange punch this year. Oh yeah, which is a skunky citrus flavor. With a hash aroma, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and and I'll and I'll be honest, citrus skunk is actually one strain that Truro actually procured a little bit because we were looking for something that we knew to fill in a gap for like, while we had a new strain coming out. Yeah, I love it. It was a nice little small lot we bought from uh, Micro and BC. It's beautiful. Nice. It, it's a nice sativa for you, Marcel. Yeah. Oh, I. I... I'm looking forward to it. It's it's Granddaddy Perps cross with orange blood. Yeah. But back to Al's original point, it's like it's not all about tea. like it's just you know what you like. But it's, it's again, there's just because of a weed is cheap in price doesn't mean it's no good. It's usually again could be older, could be smaller buds, could be everybody's different. And and you know you get when you're when you're grooming your plants like Lori used to leave uh, the the sugar leaf on on her on her buds because she wanted more. Yeah, but how well is trimmed? There's another way, right? That's right. Exactly. Yeah. So it's just right. But uh, see, when it comes to trimming, I do two trimmings. I do you do show trimmings, which are your top colas and your nice fancy buds, and then I do rough trimming, which is got all the sugar leaf on it. Because I'm I'm going to use all of that instead of just trimming it all and then having bags of trim. I'll have partially trimmed. Um, run it through, but just leave run it through the trimmers, but just leave a lot of that sugar leaf still intact. I don't mind a little like, sugar leaf, but I've been I've I've had people look at me going like, "What the fuck is this shit?" You know, but you know, like, and then they smoke it as, "Hey, that's not bad." Well, I mean, oh, it's great. It's great if you want to smoke it, but I mean, I'm going to use it for extracts, right? Yes. Yeah. So for me, it's it's perfect. It's the best of both worlds. But I'm, yeah. you know, no, I'm, yeah. I'm also thing, not. Like I'm also not trimming for anybody but me. Yeah. And I don't care if it's yeah, a that, little long yeah. because when but, I grow to ro- when I go to roll it, if it's still too long when I go to roll it, I'll break it off and throw it in the ashtray. You know. Uh, like, like, uh, actually, I'll tell you guys, Darcy brothers, you know this one. We have a. A blend pre-roll coming out in NSLC in probably a couple months. Um, nickname, well, not nickname. It's called Stinky Sticks. <laughs> but, but you know what? Like a joint, like a, a half gram joint, is going to be four dollars and fifty cents at NSLC. Oh, really? Yeah. For a half uh, gram, a three, joint? Pack, a three pack will be twelve bucks. Wow! But nothing, no particular strains. 
It's good. No, it's it's just good. It's going to be a blend of the smalls. A lot of people yeah. are doing that. A lot, a lot of I noticed that oh, a yeah. lot no, of the no, shops no, are doing that. Yeah, but that's the beauty of it, right? Like, yeah. There's but see, the less desirables, but like it's. I want to go back it. to the smalls thing and the the, the appealing. Oh, big, it's stupid. I love smalls. It is. Oh, that's what it's I really really usually well. buy. Are smalls? Oh. Right, and and but I don't know. I, it's the mindset that people have that oh oh I want all of those big buds. Okay, so go get a pink bud. a pink because cush and spend one hundred and twenty dollars an ounce, or go get a a pink cush smalls and spend fifty. Because nobody well, wants the small buds; they want the big buds. There's no st- there's no somebody, stems, usually. Yeah, but I sat with somebody who is actually in this industry, mm-hmm. and. I gave him a bag and I said, "Check this out." And re- his first question was, "Was where's where's all the big buds? Where's all the stems?" Uh-huh. I said, "Why would you want the stems?" Oh, I like the stems. Hmm. He said, "I like seeing those the stems." He likes seeing those big stems, those buds well, with why? nice big stems. I don't know, but you know them. Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> <why>. <laughs> and I, I'm not and sure. I, what... Yeah. And I said, I said, if if I gave you ten grams of bud, one bud that weighed ten grams, that one stem is going to weigh three grams. Yeah, right. So you're only getting seven grams of bud. But if I give you ten grams of small bud, you're getting ten grams of bud. That's right. But he, oh no, I still like them with the the nice big stems and the big buds. Oh, it's yeah. it's a weird egotistical. Yep. Now, in theory, and there is hey, some well, truth actually, to this. since you know him, and I don't have to yeah. divulge him. All I have to yeah. do is I can say that he also will not smoke any joint that anybody else has rolled. Yeah, but you're yeah. like oh, that yeah. with some things too, Marcel. <laughs> but only right. one other person. Oh yeah, no, no. There's one other person though that rolled a joint for that fella. He yeah. smoked it. There's a small they, right but, there. But That's there a small. Is also, like, but okay. there is also, there is slight truth. Doesn't mean it's any different. Uh, and But technically, those bigger buds are usually on the top, and there is a little bit of a THC difference, top the plant versus blah, the bottom. Blah, 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 but, yeah. but here's my part. If I ground them all up and gave you four fucking joints. You wouldn't you know the fucking difference. Tell you which difference. one was what. Exactly. Yeah. But. There's a and and the, and this don't take this word as bad for him like it's snob but like the connoisseur like it's it's them trying to grade the wine guys yeah it's it's, it's like, it's yeah. like, like oh fifteen and hold on a second bottle of wine of hold on drunk. there's a whiff of pine and, yes. uh, and some ginger and oh there's some lanolin it's like fuck off yes drink your fucking wine and smoke your doobie and shut the fuck up. <laughs> But, that, uh, but if you're judging in a culture, cannabis though. cup, fair enough. Fair enough. I'm, ta- I'm though, talking right? about in right. general, Marcel. But I mean, the same thing with whiskey tasting, beer tasting, wine tasting, the anything. The only that. thing, the only thing that I don't like is a hard, dry bud that goes instantly to powder. That's me too. I like lots of squishy and moist. I like squishy. And, and, I'd rather have and, puffy. And, and, than, than hard, you know and, what? You know, yeah. Those nice dry buds like that make amazing concentrates. Yeah, but that's I'm talking about rolling. <laughs> yeah, but they're, not fun they're hard to roll no. because you know they fall no, no, apart. That's the that's the worst than shirt. lighting a joint. The whole thing is one giant flame until it hits your lip. <laughs> you know what I did today? I ran out. My my lighter died, and I had to find my other lighter, and I couldn't find it. So I broke open the top. You know, like you do, you get that those last few yeah. uh, fires out of it. And I put it down yeah. on the table, and then I looked down, and the fucking thing's still on fire, and fucking light on, and I got burned my table, and burned right through my mat and everything. I was like, "What the fuck?" You know. Yeah, but but Al, there is there is some <laughs> categories in cannabis, and probably it's the eighth, the three yes. and a half gram. Yeah, that's the category for the the snooty connoisseur the yes they're not buying an ounce that, at a time they're buying an eighth or even a half an eighth they're they're, they're lo- and, and and they're they're, lo- they're it's Fourth. an experience to them that's a different like it's the 
like he's look. They're looking at the color, the shape, the smell. Yeah, no, the... no, no. I'm looking at the. That's bu- what I'm saying. They're, they're, I'm they're looking at the buzz. I'm looking at the buzz, yeah, and does it take 100%. my pain away? Does it make my head spin? Do I have to do it? Does it yeah. make me think too much? That's what I'm looking at. No, exactly. That's what I'm saying. So it's not that anyone's right or wrong. It's just no, everybody's different. different. Seg- different segments. I'm a medical patient. I'm a medical cannabis yeah. user. I, it doesn't. I'm yeah. not saying that I only smoke medical cannabis because there's nothing different. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what I'm saying is. I look at, I'm not just looking at, is this a Kush? Oh, I like Kush. Because I don't, I mean, I don't yeah. mind Kush, but I don't want to be couch locked. I want to be alert. I want to, you know, uh, not fall asleep while I'm having a conversation with somebody. And you, in order yeah. to do things like that and, and, and pick and choose your your buzz or your medication levels, you have to look at not just THC and CBD. Right. This is what I try to explain to the kids up here. You got to look at, you know, if you want to use it as a medicine, then you have to look at the CBNs and the CBGs and the blah, 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 blah. How many are there now? There's over 100 now. There was only 40 when we started doing this shit. Bullshit. There was over 100 then. Uh, I'm sure there was. I'm sure there was. (laughs) I I think it should make it goal in life to memorize every cannabinoid bud well you know what you know you know the alphabet don't you yeah (laughs) Uh, that's pretty much well no there's a lot of cannabinoids that have some really wonderful names and numbers i'm seeing associated yeah i see that yeah Yeah. but but in the end like nobody knew the thc of any weed before right yeah 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 yeah, no. the, yeah. When you were smoking I mean, Acapulco Gold in the 70s, you were smoking Al- Acapulco Gold in the 70s from brick re- weed that was brought up from Mexico. When you were smoking Jamaican pot in the 70s, you were smoking brick weed that was brought up from fucking Jamaica. You know. Maybe in Ontario. It was hard for us to get brick weed in Nova Scotia. Really? Yeah. I mean, we still got brick weed, but. Your your choices were homegrown. Um, we could get Colombian, but it wasn't brickweed because it came in on the boat. Mm. Uh, Jamaican, uh, Acapulco. Um, what were some yeah. of the other and ones? And now the and young it, the young kids are like Acapulco. Get... What? <laughs> yeah, isn't that a place in um, Mexico? I reached out to somebody to come on as a guest who's and i'm not going to say his name on there until he says he's willing to come because he's actually revitalizing a lot of those strains now cool um and putting them back out into the market um in the form of seeds but i'm hoping he'll agree to come on and chat with us about it well that brings me to the point of if you do want to come on the show hey just let us know we're always open to have a conversation Sometimes we have a conversation. Sometimes we just stare at each other and go. (laughs) Hey, play the Darcy music. All right. We'll be right back. Oh, which one? Oh, yeah. Okay. Are you a cannabis content creator? Are you looking for a place to have your content seen? If you answer yes to both questions, then you need to check out CBGTV.com. Oh, come on. Hey, this is Cheech. And this is Chong. And you're listening to Lifestyle Radio. What is it? Lifestyle Radio. Say it one more time. 420 Radio. Ooh. <laughs> You're listening to Lifestyle Radio. Are you in the... Three, oh, come two, on. One. Sorry. Never mind. I'm going to play this again. Damn it. You ready? They're not even Can listening. you hear my TV in the background? <laughs> yes, we can. Hey, this is Cheech. <laughs> this is Chong. And you're listening to Lifestyle Radio. What is it? Lifestyle Radio. Say it one more time. 420 Radio? Ooh. Actually, I was on mute. How could you hear me? You're 
listening to Lifestyle Radio. Are you an independent musician? How would you like to have your songs played on hundreds of radio stations just like the one you're listening to right now? Join MusicSubmit.com and we'll promote your music to radio stations and blogs in your genre. It's free to set up your account and we guarantee your music will be considered for airplay by radio stations worldwide. Why not sign up today? It's free. MusicSubmit.com. Radio promotion for indie musicians. This is how we grow the week. There you go, Darcy. <laughs> I love doing that to him. Hi, Al. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what what growing tips are we going to hear tonight, Darcy? Um. Uh, I'm just going to talk, I'm just going to blab on about uh, just some stuff that I've been dealing with through the week. Oh, what have you been dealing with through the week? Um, uh, a, a grow room that was in dire need of some TLC. Ah. Um, meaning uh, the grower walked away from it after he realized that he had a little bit of powder mildew in there and he didn't realize how to get rid of it. So how do you, that's a, a really good thing to know because a lot of people deal with that. I dealt with it and I washed my plants every day. That's how I dealt with it. Number Washed one way with to get what? water. My number one way, my number one way to get rid of it would be to, to buy yourself a jug of zero tall, but you need a pesticide license and a pesticide app. You need a pesticide license to, to, to buy it and you need a, pesticide license to apply it so um but zero tall it's made by biosafe systems it's a really good product um uh that's what i recommend but what i'm using right now i'm is uh f uh dr doom's uh 420 formula it's a three-in-one product uh it's a mitis it's a miticide and insecticide and a fungicide all in one uh it comes concentrated you mix 20 mils per liter. Um, has, spray has, it got, uh, has it got neem oil in it? No, canola. Canola oil? Okay. Yeah. Um, so, but see, the good thing is these plants are still in veg. Um, so I can take as long as I want. As long as I can take as long as I want with them per se. till I know that the, uh, the infection or the, the, the disease is eradicated fully before you dare push them into flower so but yeah I've been it's dealing a lot with that. easier to take take care of a veg plant than it is a flowering plant i mean there's multiple ways to do that make i mean one thing is now is make sure that the, <laughs> the, the, the pots don't get too dried out or they're not too wet if your your soil is happy medium you should never ever ever have powder mildew in I'm, the room. I'm seeing a lot of articles about what to do about powdery mildew and and a lot of articles on how to wash your buds like i did uh, you know a while yeah. back yeah well it's yeah. a big it's a big problem now because i mean you got a lot of people sharing clones and plants around and if a lot of people don't have a sweet fucking clue what they're looking for on that plant and you're passing that around well it's just like a just like a dirty hooker she uh, she gets passed hey. around everyone gets infected so you slut <laughs> But uh, yeah, so uh, you, you just you gotta you gotta you gotta set up a good IPM regimen before you even head into the game. So, uh, but here's the other thing too: just because you cleaned up the disease on the plants, don't mean that it's not in the room. You gotta clean that room too. So right. okay, so that, that's why something like Xeratol does work good because you can spray down the entire room. You can can I it. can I just when I'm cleaning my room down like uh, after I've built it, I want to clean it down, obviously. So can I use a peroxide and water mixture? Thirty five percent peroxide okay. and water mixture. All right. So the so basic basically the same the same mixture that I use to wash my plants. Nope. No? Stronger. You're only stronger. Using stronger. Three point five. Okay. Yeah, you it was just one bottle. Okay. So you, yeah. no, so you have to go out and get stronger peroxide. You can buy it on Amazon. Okay. It's thirty-five percent peroxide, hydrogen peroxide. It's uh, it's stronger. Like when you open it up, you get it on your skin. Your skin's gonna turn instantly white. 
right. there's another thing that you can do if you've got a, a, a feed store or, or something like that. We can buy gallon jugs of farm grade vinegar. Yes, yeah, you can, yeah. So you can actually, if you've got a, a spider mite infestation, vinegar is good. For then that. after you get get your plants out, you spray down your room with this vinegar, and it'll dry out and kill the. Oh eggs. God, I hope that that shit doesn't happen for fuck's sakes. But that's the thing, Al, is you have to treat every yeah. surface, yeah. every little nook and cranny yeah. in that room now, because if you don't. You just you're, you're just defeating the purpose. All it takes is one is one. To cure that problem. All it takes is one okay, one so thing to start. Now, yeah. after after hearing that, do you understand why I say wrap the entire room, including the floor, mm-hmm. with panda plastic? Yep. And that reason being is you prevent all those nooks and crannies, and you can spray down the entire room. Yeah, I, I got that right from the beginning. That's right. why I said if there's enough well, left, I will do I mean, the floor as well. Yeah. I love that's people why grow don't... tents that's why grow tents make good places to grow for beginners because it's an easier place to contain and clean. That's why yeah. I'm gonna use the tent for mum. Keep her healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. Yep. No. That's all I use my tent for is I... is to grow a couple mothers to get ready to grow doors so yep. I have babies for outdoors. Same here. All right. So well the 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 paint that I got for the floor is a sealer paint and it fights uh, uh mold and you know all that stuff. But but when but but you gotta remember too when spraying them plants out um, yeah, yeah. It, it, the wanted... water has has stuff in it, and stuff. But I, I'm just saying, like, as far as uh, it's got an antibacterial crap, yeah, it stinks but like but fucking but shit. Saying, <laughs> but what I was saying is, when you're spraying your when you're spraying your plants down, to, yep. to, if you got an outbreak, is that you got to you spray them down um, till they're saturated. You want you want them good and dripping, both underside and top side of leaf stalks. Well, everything. that that's what I was doing it because I started getting the powdery mildew in the in the greenhouse so mm-hmm. every day i was going out and it with the shower thing on my hose thing and yeah like just drenching them down and and because you know it's not going to hurt them right but i was i was very careful not to leave the leaves in the thing there when the, you know to create more mold and, and i and i watched it like i it was draining and not just sitting there at the top pooling and you know <laughs> And, yeah, it, no, it, and it worked. I mean, I had I I uh, I found maybe a handful of of buds that were starting to rot, right? Mm-hmm. So I basically caught it. Holy shit! I didn't realize that. Where's my charging cord? Uh oh! It wasn't even charging my fucking phone. Eighteen. Mm, you you think after three years of doing this, he'd know what he was doing by now? Well, no, I used to have a good, I had a good computer. I had a good run with a good computer for a while there, Al. Yeah, I know. Oh, will you? So. Am I there, Al? Yeah, you're here. Okay. You know, just because I said your audio and blah, blah, blah is not working. So that's why I wanted to make sure. It was lying to me. I'm looking forward to, to finding out what happens in this in this room but by the same token i'm a little nervous uh you'll be all right just take your time and uh baby steps al i mean you don't need to grow yourself 10 pounds your first grow. Oh, no right? no 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 i'm i'm like you know i'm i'm adamant to to keep it to four plants at a time so that i'm not over stressing myself you know? four plants at a time should give you once you once you get onto it good between one and two pounds, and fuck that—that that should smoke you every sixty days. You think? If well, if it I doesn't, know, if it doesn't, some, I've got an issue. <laughs> well, some days might get a little more stressful than others, and you're gonna take some of it to make butter or or eat or to make hash yeah, or yeah. or yeah, an yeah. oil. So, I mean, that 
when you're when you're doing extracts, it eats up your you know your your pound pretty quick. Yep. Yep. And I'm gonna I'm, gonna, say, I'm gonna start two, two squishing smoke, again. Yeah. I I brought the squisher upstairs, so I'm gonna start squishing again for myself. Yeah, and I squished, I squished some the other night. Well, I've been you know I've been putting uh, a fico into my shatterizer, and it's a little bit much. <laughs> You know, when you're when, <laughs> when you're out and about shopping and you're sitting in the car for a minute having some medicine and you go all buzzed in on FICO, I mean, it's, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that shit's not distillate. No. It's, or, or, nor is it shatter. <laughs> no, it's got, it's got some, it's got some lasting effects to it, Mark. Uh, Al. Yeah. But, uh. No, so I, powdery uh, mildew, powdery mildew. That's your answer. Is xeritol and well, zero. Uh, that that's my answer. Okay. But now, if, that, is that, that a natural what product? What's no. that? It's not a natural product. No, not not if you need uh, a pesticide license. Pesticide course. Yeah. Okay, so is well, what um, natural products actually, are there? Go online. The reason you need the pesticide course is because it's got here. I'll tell you the the, the active. It's because of the active ingredient. It's it's an or. They're classified as a, or, chemically organic company or something. Here, just one second. Um, uh, oh, right there. Biosafe Systems. Right here, Al. Huh? watch this i'm gonna send this to you copy no i don't want to win free popcorn oh i'd like some popcorn (laughs) i like some popcorn (laughs) i can't eat popcorn anymore burger week here in Toronto. i can't eat for the ass it's 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 a two-week thing this and and burger week week two yeah, I'm, I'm actually upset that it's two weeks, Darcy, because you don't call something a week and make it two weeks. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh-huh. They just figured they could raise a little more extra money for the homeless, for, or for the uh, food bank. Oh, right. no so, no offense. They're not raising money for the homeless. They're raising money for themselves. Let me pull well, this up here. We know this, considering considering the, the burger and fry plate starts at like sixteen ninety nine. That's what I'm getting at. Where am I looking, Darcy? <laughs> Products? What am I looking for, Darsh? Uh, go down to uh, fungicides. Fungicides. Up, 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 up. up there up, we go. Up. There you go. I, I have had two burgers, too, Darcy. Well, I haven't been so impressed yet. Which one you thinking, Darsh? Where's the dry? Uh, you got to right? down to the bottom. Uh, I, I won't shit on the. I won't shit on the places. They weren't all right there. there. I don't want you to they shit on them. They just weren't that great. So this is what we're well, looking yeah, at, right? but just But they have different things on them, so it may have been something that you just weren't fond of yourself. No, the burger just wasn't like... that good. It was more the hamburger. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, that's Yeah. Nice. I just thought it wasn't, just wasn't that great a burger. And... Was it the guy that overcooks his? No, I, it wasn't his yet. Hey, guys. Okay. Can we go back yeah. to zero tall? Sure. Okay. Darcy. Yeah, we're looking at. It's not me right cracking, now. but this is really. I can I can barely hear you guys. You guys are really cracking. It, 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 it is you cracking. It's you, Darcy. It is you, Darcy. Fucking piece of shit, iPhone. <laughs> Fuck you, iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> um, but zero tall. See, it, it's a broad spectrum um uh, spray. It does. It's a um, bacteria side and a fungicide. Okay. Um. It's a, a it's a peroxide based. It's form. not. It's not just for weed. It. I mean, it's it's primarily for uh, uh, anything for that you ingest, right? Yeah. Well, see, per, uh, that's how you fucking say that word, Marcel. That parasitic acid. That's how you say yeah. that per, per, parasitic acid. I don't know. I don't see where you're reading that. Uh, active, right about the the active ingredient. Well, that screen's too small for me. Uh, let, hang on, let me make this whole thing bigger. Sucks when you get old, don't it? No. Uh, all right, where see, am look, I reading there's this? Cannabis. I see it just fine. <laughs> uh, Parasitic, yeah. 
P R A C E T I C acid. Parasitic. Peroxyacidic. Ah. Peroxyacidic, yeah. So it's got peroxide and acid. But but it is mm. but it is for the homeowner and hobby grower. Yes, but it is OMRI listed certified, so that's organic, right? Right. Well, no. It says it's pet 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 and wildlife and people safe. Yeah, With no, no, no toxic residues and a zero day pre harvest interval. Yeah. So the day, you can spray your plants the day you harvest them, according to this. And it kills on contact, and it fucking well does. It gives kill homeowners a peace of mind as it's safe for people, pets, and wildlife. Yet, people can't buy it without a pesticide license. Yeah, you, what you can. That? Yeah, but no, a homeowner. Well. Yeah, but. Do, do you think people want to go and take that course just to be able to use this one product in their home that is told to be safe for people, pets, and wildlife? See, I like to be able to buy it and just sell it to you, but I've, I've only found one place in Nova Scotia that sells it, um, and that's uh, a Halifax Seed. And it's a no-residue disinfectant. Do you remember when, when, when it was... Uh, uh, back when, when if you posted a picture of cannabis, you, you had a real threat of getting arrested. <laughs> <laughs> you remember yeah, those days? We've come, <laughs> we've come a long way. Get my screen See, because you can up. spray, you can spray everything with this. After you spray your plants, you can spray your work areas, your walkways, your floors, your walls, your fan blades. Your water yeah. systems, your coolers, your storage rooms, should your I, structures, so, and all so your equipment. Should I be? Right. be sp- the reason that it's being regulated is it's what's wrong. If it's it's safe for homeowners, why not allow the general market to be able to get it? So you go and buy a bottle of it in, not necessarily in a Walmart, but no, but a, a grow center, uh, any place with a, a grow. Well, Walmart has grow centers, I guess. Yeah. So is Canadian Tire. Um, yeah, yeah, Walmart probably wouldn't sell it. Canadian Tire, Kent. Uh, I mean, the only other product I've used. Co-op might be able to, because I know you can go into co-op. a co-op and get uh, veterinary stuff. Yeah. Yep. But the only other, yeah, the only other, a lot. the only other product I've yep. used a lot for powder before was um, uh, Safers. They're uh, they have a, a three in one. Yep. It it works very well. It works really good, yeah. Hey Darcy, it's time for you to send me whatever you're sending, buddy, because uh, we're getting that getting close to that. I'll send you my address again. Just reminding you. But I w- oh you yeah. Floramax. Yeah. Still waiting. Yes, 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 Al. Send them what? The Floramax. I'm saying them stuff. The Flomax. Oh. Remember that stuff? The Flomax? <laughs> no, you don't know, it, it, it's, the, it's your food, yeah. Yeah, Floramax. Yeah. yeah. No, food. Food. It'll it'll freeze getting there, but... Okay. <laughs> actually, actually, I gotta do this. Thank it's you for reminding me. It's probably now. frozen now. Mine is. Frozen um, my frozen my yeah. garage, but I know when it's on dogs, it's completely fine. Is it fine enough to drink? We gotta start wrapping it up, guys. I know. Thought Darcy was gonna say something. Ken told me not to drink. What? No, Ken told me not to not to drink it. <laughs> don't drink that, Darcy. Don't do it. Don't. Because you might grow roots out your ass. What did I lose? What did I miss out on there, Sal? What? I might. I just might. You might. Um. So what's you, new coming up? I'm, well, I'm trying to get Debbie to come on and talk to us. I wish you would. Harvest pets I'm gonna try. I'm gonna reach pets. out to Sarah Sunday. Uh, we've got Jack coming on either next week or the week after, depending on how his week goes. Um, I'm going to be having Al Graham and Paul Hartman on because they are my new cohorts in the Three Guys High Cast uh, High Cast podcast. 
and uh, I'm also working on, oh, on I don't uh, talk to them. CBG TV with Al. So, yes, I do. Yes, you do. No, I, I don't want to talk to I, We don't want them on the show. I don't want to talk to those guys. <laughs> Oh, fucking Graham and Herbman. Fuck that. Let's get interesting people on or something. Yeah. <laughs> Only because I'm hoping Al listens to this. <laughs> he listens. He might be busy today. Yeah, we'll we'll find out. If I get a nasty message, I'll know that he was listening. He'd be like, fuck you, Marcel. See if you ever come on Pace fuck Radio again. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I haven't been on there in a while. No. <laughs> but I've been keeping a low profile, a much lower profile than I used to. So. Well, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, have everybody from CBG TV on at some point, uh, as soon as people uh, tell me when they can do this, because you know. Every time you say CBG, I'm waiting for the CBGBs and the Ramones and shit. Uh, oh, jeez. <laughs> No, kind of see, flows. before before legalization, I was a real asshole, so I was on lots of shit, different shows. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, You're yeah. You're still an because, asshole, Marcel. Yeah, but I was more of an asshole. I've, I've calmed down you a lot. You have, line. yeah. I, mean, I think we all have. Well, you know, I mean, like, this, like, the fight's not over. It, no, not at all. Happened the, look what happened the night Scott Armstrong came to my fucking door. I mean, I'm not a good person to... To be come to visit when I have a complete disdain for you as a politician and as a human being. I have no idea. But he came to my about. door. Oh, he was um, he was my member of Parliament that was a conservative that ignored me and and Marcel other party doesn't like being ignored. <laughs> yeah, other party MPs actually went to him and told them that they should contact me. So, uh, but he never showed up. Or contacted me, but he never showed up until he was running in the election again. So I worked very hard to make sure that he did not get voted in, and he didn't. So good for you. Because yeah, we have eight minutes. And I mean the amount of the amount of fighting that I did with Health Canada and with doctors. I mean yeah, I was a bit of an asshole to a lot of people, but they fucking deserved it. Yeah, well, you know, it's a different place now, and and, and a, a lot of us are in a different place mentally as well as physically. So. Yeah, well, no, I've gotten to a point where I'm just tired of fighting with them. I'll do me, they do them, and stay the fuck away from me. I stay the fuck away from you, and and I'll be nice. On that note. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, as yeah. as nice as I can be, but I'm old. I'm cranky, and and no, I have fuck you, cranky. I'm wondering if Lenny has fallen asleep <laughs> because I haven't heard. No, his I'm voice. watching the hockey oh, game. There we go. Listen, <laughs> that's why I Who's turned winning? off my camera. Oh, there he is. He's Who's laying winning? down now. <laughs> no, no, uh, Peterborough two one. Oh, is that a good thing? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's the team your brother coaches or something. He's the assistant coach for the Peterborough Peach. Yeah. Peterborough Peets. Peterborough, Ontario. Yeah, the OHL. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, I'm watching a uh, a show that was filmed in the. Kingston Penitentiary. Yes, that's that's Mayor of Kings Kingstown. Yeah, yeah, it's an um, uh, isn't it an awesome show? It, it's filmed in and around no, Kingston like and the Kingston Penitentiary. You don't like it? Yeah, it's not my kind of show. Oh, does Chrissy like it? Loves it. Oh well, you see, there you go. See, it's her kind of show. It's not yeah. my kind of show. I've watched every episode. I watch. I just watched the other one the other day, the newest one. It's an but awesome I mean, so show. Far, I mean, it's, it's the other one. Than, the other one that I'm really murders. enjoying. the The other one that I'm really enjoying is Your Honor, which is Brian Cranston's uh, new show. Those are the ones, and I've been, I've been, I've been mainlining, uh, main uh, uh, cabin masters. <laughs> I've been like watching that, just binging it. No, I'm not a fan of that. But the, the Your Honor one. 
I, I, I don't mind Brian Cranston. I don't like the storyline. You don't. It's weird. It definitely is weird. It, it, and it's a the, fucked up storyline. The second um, season. If, if it wasn't for the storyline, I would like it. I would. Really the second like season it. just, you know, the right from the beginning, it's like, oh wow, you know. I mean, yeah. it's much different the second season than the first. That's for sure. You know, it's an interesting show. It's I am Wrexham. That Ryan Reynolds and Rob uh, McElhenney buying that soccer football team and. No, Wales. I, I never heard of it. I started. It's on Disney. I started it's, it's, watching. It's like uh, it, it's a react. It's it's documentary. Yeah, like they bought I, this fucking. I've seen it listed. You know what? It's actually pretty entertaining. I hate fucking soccer. I've been watching <laughs> but, Formula One, the the show Formula One, the new season. Yeah, just I, went up. I watched that. And I yeah. I do watch F one. Yeah. Do you know what? I used to play soccer. Oh, uh, I play soccer. It's fun to play, but watching. I played soccer. Sucks when I was a kid and then I played it in the military, but I, I cannot tennis. sit. I, wa- I watch and those watch tennis a ones. Soccer match. Yes. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Soccer. I couldn't sit and watch a tennis match either. I could play tennis, but I won't sit and watch it. I, I watch their, I'm sure. Yeah. There, there's a, there's a show. Golf. Golf. Uh, uh, I can't remember what it's called. Golf. But... I'll watch golf on TV. Ech. Yuck. Because I mean, I'd love to, I love playing golf, but, Watching golf on TV is pretty See, good. See, but now what they've done, all the walking. <laughs> what they've done now, Marcel, is like from Formula One, that show Formula One on Netflix. They've done the same thing with with a with golf. Oh. They've done the same thing with um, uh, Daytona. Uh, they've done or, or like uh, I guess NASCAR, and they've done that the same thing with several different subjects, and it's done as a documentary TV show, and it's you know. It, all of these these documentaries that they've come out of Discovery, it's that kind of show, right? Yeah, but it's, they're really well they done. They can do it all, and it, it's all good, Al. But that F one one, that is the most cutthroat, harsh. Oh God, isn't it? Thing. I just watched three episodes this afternoon. <laughs> Season five just well, went I up yesterday. I, like I love, I, I am like I do love Max Verstappen. Right, I, I guess call today. Him, like the F one Ricky Bobby man. He just he. If you if you ain't first, you're last with that fucker. But, uh, well, the the tennis one is really good too. Uh, I watched the tennis yeah, one. But, uh, point Point Break, I think it was called. Yeah, but if you think of F one, there's only twenty fucking jobs in the world, right? Yeah, it's like holy yeah. fuck. They they two and a half minutes. They were yeah. they were talking about here, here, they were talking about electric cars the other day for Marcel Marcel. Yeah, they start the season not over, and they're negotiating contracts with other teams. Yes, it's the and most the season's not over. They've they've, like. they've got drivers still racing, even though they know <laughs> after the next the last race they're no longer on the team. But yet it's they're crazy. still they're still told to go out there and race and win. Yeah, they talk about the fact yeah. that oh, I'm going around. Oh, I'm in first. Woohoo! Too bad yeah. I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait a second. Yeah, Let's okay. put the break on for a second. <laughs> Sorry, Al. I had I had to get that out there. That's, that's okay. Crazy. Yeah, I know. That's, yeah, okay. It that's is. A little nuts. It is. Two minutes. Yeah. So, uh, anybody want to say anything else before we go say bye bye bye? No. Goodbye. Okay. We'll just say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Have a nice night. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> Later. Later. <laughs> Bye, Darcy. Oh, he's already gone. He doesn't even wait, the bastard. What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing? Why not? Trying to get on the Slice Out Radio website. Sounds like a cool website. Yeah, it's all right. Oh, yeah, I might have it. You might have it. You're listening to Lifestyle Radio. The opinions expressed during this show are those of the individual participants and do not necessarily reflect the opinions of their associated organizations or Lifestyle Radio. We are the Cannabis Broadcasting Group here at CBGTV.com.